after I sent the message and said, hey, I have a videotape of myself packaging these things, uh, nothing but crickets. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and I just got off the phone with Travis and he's the one who's helping us out there in that Commonwealth cabin and he says that he is inching closer to having that custom table, storage bench, whatever you want to call it, done and we're going to hopefully get it in there here pretty quick in the next few days and then from there I'll have to work on some storage in the back and putting up some decorations and we're going to put a TV in there and I've got to mount that thing and, and put the TV up. And so we still have a few things to go. You know, I've been pretty patient and haven't really been concerned about it, to be honest with you. I was just thinking, you know, as long as it's up by garage sale season here in a few months, I'll be okay because I want to have a, a new system of inventory coming in and going out. And hopefully that'll be in place before too long. But now that I see it coming along, I want to get in there. I'm kind of getting excited. So and we have an interesting topic today. If you've been with this show for a while, we had one video where we caught a scammer because we videotape a lot of our shipping from above. I haven't been putting that much on this show lately because sales have been pretty good and I don't want to make these videos too long. But I've been putting them over on the Commonwealth Flipper channel because people ask to see the shipping. And so I put them over there and I know most people don't want to sit around and watch somebody do shipping, but some people do. So I put it on that channel and we just happened to video one day and I had a buyer complain to me that I didn't put everything in a box, that everything's not here. This isn't here, this isn't here. And I said, really? And so I sent a message back and I said, yeah, I think it is. And I have a videotape to prove it. So I'll let you know what happened in that in just a little bit. We had some good sales. Matter of fact, we had some great sales. I, I haven't looked at the total, but we've sold a bunch. So much so we're going to divide up into two videos. We might even make a small video and put it on Commonwealth Flipper because I don't want this video to get too long. So if you bought an Animan and you don't hear a shout out on this show or the next show, you might want to go over there and check that one. We've been selling so many Animan lately. I feel bad every other item is an Animan that sells. So I, I think we'll kind of dilute it a little bit and put a few of them on that channel as well. So we're showing you what we actually sold and then the Animan that sells. So anyway, any rate, thanks for joining us and let's take a look at what's sold. All right, first item up here is a Monte Carlo Looney Tunes Tasmanian Devil hat. And this is the Monte Carlo Rematch. And it's got bugs and it's got the Chase Authentic 2002. If you've been around a while, I've given a couple of tours of the eBay cave here, but I'm a little embarrassed of my death pile back here, so I don't do it often, but I think we may do it here pretty quick. But above me is hats. We have hats hanging all over the ceiling. I have a hat rack coming down here as well. And so we do sell hats. Haven't sold any in a while. Used to be we'd sell two or three a week, but I can't remember the last time I sold a hat. And this one sold for $18, free shipping. It'll be eight ounces or less is what we can get a hat in, eight by six by four box, unless it's a really high one and then we'll change the box. But this one sold for $18. So that's probably around a $12 profit. This one actually, it wasn't free, but it was part of a huge lot that we bought from Cincinnati Picker on an auction that we were bidding against Lonnie and that was a, a fun day. So appreciate that. We got Cincinnati Picker's hat in that deal and he autographed it and we gave it to a viewer for a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, this one is going out to Joe, and Joe says this is going to be a really funny Valentine's gift. That's happening. Joe, you have more guts than I have. A lot more guts than I have. All right, here is a fairly plain Jane Sanyo VCR, and this one got top dollar. The reason why is we put a brand new sealed VHS cassette blank one in there, and it has a remote, and it's in really good condition. And I said, hey, this thing is tested, guaranteed, ready to go. $50 plus shipping on this one. It's going to go FedEx. I give buyers the choice. I list FedEx as an option, and I list Parcel Post as an option. Every once in a while on some of the lighter ones, I'll list Priority Mail as an option as well. So at any rate, hey, sometimes with Parcel Post, 
it comes cheaper. They pay parcel post, but it's cheaper to me to send it priority. So sometimes we'll send it priority. But that one's going FedEx. All right, this one's going out to Pollyanna. Pollyanna, what a name. That's one of my favorite Disney movies to watch with my daughter. I think it was one of the first non-cartoon ones we watched, and she loved it. And I watched it on a VHS, of course. Still do. Still have it. Love VHS. I don't know why I like it. I like cassettes, too. I like to hear that thing rewind, and I like to hear it fast. I don't know. I even like hitting the eject button and pulling it out and turning it around and sticking it back in. I don't know. I guess I'm old. Anyway, this is going out to Pollyanna. It says, thank you so much. I enjoy the show and all the advice and help you offer. This will go in my eBay office. Thanks again, Michigan Picker. All right, Michigan Picker. Thank you so much. All right, we have been selling one of these every day. We've been selling a VCR every day. We've been selling one of these every day. We're hundreds of dollars in the profit on these, and we still probably have 40 or so left. This one sold for a very... This is the smallest profit we've made on any of these. $4.91 plus shipping. So we're only making probably, well, just under $4, $3.50 or so. Two more of these going out. One's going to Tim and one's going to Angel. Thank you so much. All right, I was able to go to a winter garage sale. I don't, there's not that many around here. We don't live in a populated area. And when it gets cold, there's basically no garage sales, no yard sales. This happened to be at a Lions Club. And I went and I spent $8 and pulled quite a bit of stuff out of there. This is one of the things I bought for 50 cents. And this sold really quickly within a day or two for $20 plus shipping. It is a super tuning your Firebird Trans Am. So originally $8.95 sold for $20 plus shipping. Hey, one more of these going out to Sue. Sue, thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right, one little crazy benefit from having this channel is doing that shipping from up here. And we now have twice been able to have evidence, video evidence, that what somebody was saying wasn't the case. Now, the first time somebody had a couple of small ornaments and said that I didn't put everything in there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did. It was in there. I mean, I watched myself pack it. I have a video of it right here. I could send it to you if you like. I can send you to my YouTube channel if you want. And they replied back, oh, yeah, you're right, it's in there. So they could not be a scammer. They just simply couldn't have looked through the box really well, which is kind of hard to believe since those things were so small. But nonetheless, it was resolved, and I was happy, and they never commented again, so we had no issue there. So this person here sent me a message and just simply said they opened a return, and the reason for a return is missing parts or pieces. And so I'm sending a message back to them like, hey, what's missing? What's the deal? They said there's no charging base they said there's no power supply and i'm thinking the cord you know did i leave a cord out no there's no base at all i'm like really so there's no cord there's no base there's just the phone and i think i have the original one still here and i'll i'll try to put it in either right here or before or after i'm talking here and you can see the message and so i'm i keep sending messages back and I said, hey, you know, it's in there. I just watched a video of myself packing it. It's actually on Commonwealth Flipper. Let me tell you what it's called. It's called Shipping for eBay from the Cave with Blue Ridge Mama. And it's a phone. And you'll see a box on that table if you go over there and look at it. There's a box on the table. And I package, I think I put paper in the bottom of it. And then I put the charging bases that have two black cords in a bag. And then I put that in there. And then I put another piece of paper on there. And then I put the phones that I think I've bubble wrapped. And then I put another piece of paper. So, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it's a big, you know, not big, but it's a fairly size, 8 inches tall. And so the phones were on the top layer. I mean, it's fairly heavy. They had to look. So... After I sent the message and said, hey, I have a videotape of myself packaging these things, uh, nothing but crickets. And it's been days. I've sent multiple messages back, and I'm just wondering here what the process is going to be. My guess is they're never going to attempt to send anything back to me um, because they're, they know that I know it's there. Now, I suppose they could have looked in there and said, oh, yeah, it is in there and then never contact me again. That, that seems a little bit rude. You would think somebody would say, yeah, it is in there. Sorry to sorry to trouble you. I wasn't rude in any of the comments. I was just like, hey, I know I packaged it in there, and I take a video and all that. I was, I was really kind, and they haven't said anything at all. So at any rate, that's the second time now that somebody has commented and said, hey, they didn't receive everything, and they're returning the item, and I think fishing for a response or, or something. At any rate, maybe they just needed the charging bases, and they were going to keep them and send the phones back. 
Who knows? It makes me wonder of all the times in the past where somebody said something like that, how many of them were legitimate and how many weren't. My guess is a good good deal of them are legitimate because every once in a blue moon, now even when I videotape, I still screw something up. All right, St. Louis Cardinals. This is Majestic. Majestic's a pretty good brand. You know, I, you know, I coached baseball for 15 years as a head coach, and now I'm an assistant coach. And Majestic is the brand I always used to like to buy for our team. It was a little bit more pricey, but the guys really liked it. Anyway, this one is a size small, so it's not a very desirable size, but that's okay. Cardinals, um, pretty nice condition. I don't see too many flaws to it. It's definitely used, but nothing out of the ordinary. I bought this at Goodwill, $3.99. It sold for $15 plus shipping and this will be over i think it'll be over 16 ounces even though it'll be close because it's a small and so it'll probably end up going in a padded flat rate so it's a decent little profit around ten dollars nothing big all right one more in man all right one more in a man sneaking its way into the video here this one is going out to bill bill thanks so much all right, hang around. We're going to show you one sale from the Homeschool Hustler store. And if you want to go over there and check out that video, I think it's towards the beginning. Those are in like super speed because who in the world <laughs> would want to watch a regular motion video of somebody shipping? And you can see me. I think Blue Ridge Mom is to my left and she's packaging things and I'm packaging things on the right. And I'm going to be the one who packages that phone up and you can check that out. So anyway, thanks so much for joining us and we will see you next time. All right, we have one of the homeschool hustlers with us today. This is Reagan, and we sold something out of the homeschool hustler store. And this is a little children's book, children's Bible. And this came from Jerry Falwell Ministries, so the old-time gospel hour. And it sold for $7 plus shipping. It was not a huge sale, but we only paid a dollar, so we still made about $4 profit on that little thing. And now that I'm thinking about it, Turner has lost his little children's devotional Bible. Maybe we should have kept that one, huh? Oh, well. I'm sure we can find another one soon enough. Reagan, that's just enough for you to keep a dollar, save a dollar, and donate a dollar. And you know what? I talked to Blue Ridge Mama, and she said that you guys want to start donating to a different cause. Has she talked to you about that yet? Okay. Well, we are going to talk about that on an episode coming up. The kids, in case you're new to the show, they get to keep a dollar. They get to save a dollar in the bank. And then they get to donate a dollar. And they donate a dollar right now to a little child in Haiti. But we have made so many sales out of the Homeschool Hustler store lately. But they have met their obligation to their little child in Haiti that they sponsor. And we have enough money that they're going to give a little bit more to a different organization that helps children. And so we'll tell you about that in a few days. Come by. Bye. You know, I have a lot of teachers comment on the videos. I guess they're commenting because they got to do eBay to make ends meet because they don't get paid anything. And they're like, I don't know how you teach all day and then come home and do eBay and then do YouTube. I'll tell you what, I couldn't do it without my wife. So we ran out of, well, we haven't ran out of cards yet, but we're about ready to run out of cards because all these Enemy sales going out of here. And I said, we need some new business cards. And I had a couple requests. I like, I said, I like the front of them. I said, that's kind of nice. I like that. She designed that, you know, no big deal. And I said, I want some room on the back so I can write something if I need to, or, you know, just say thank you, or even sign my name for goodness sake. And I want Commonwealth Flipper on there because we got that second channel. So, at any rate, sh <laughs> they showed up at the door the other day. I'm like, what in the world? And they showed up pretty quick. So she must have uh, taken care of that for me. So I appreciate it. And good night. I don't know how many you bought. But that's a lot more than 2,000 of them. It's got to be like 5,000. I guess she figured she didn't want to do it again in a few months. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Ridge Mama.